Hey everybody, just wanted to give you a quick rundown on using uh, folders within your Google Docs account for uh, saving files to the Google Cloud. Uh, so basically the concept here is that you have some online storage available to you as well as using <clears throat> Google Documents you can upload any files that you have on your hard drive that you need to have access to uh, from your Google login. And you can also make folders and subfolders up keep yourself organized. So the easiest way to do this is to slide into your Google account, uh, go over to Google Documents, and what will come up automatically is either the list of all of the items that are in your account, and then certainly owned by or shared by any hidden or trashed items, and then down below that you'll see my folders and folders shared with me. And this is a great uh, opportunity to uh, use some of the Google tools to collaborate with coworkers or with other teachers or with other people you're working on projects with. Uh, and share documents or share an entire folder of documents. So in order to do that, let's start from the very top and click on My Folders. When you click on My Folders, you'll see that I have two existing folders here, one for uh, graduate school, some work, and then uh, just a new folder that I made that's generic that we can use for this tutorial. To create a new folder, just like you would create a new document, slide over to the Create New button just underneath the Google logo, and then go down to Folder and click Folder. What will come up in the middle there is the new folder, and we can create uh, a folder called images or something like that. Uh, pictures of my family, whatever you wanted to call that, and click save. Immediately after clicking save, what you'll see is over on the left hand side near, near your navigation here, you have an images folder. Now you can actually add files to that folder and then have them be accessible from any computer with an internet connection. Uh, to do that, all you would need to do is click on Upload next to the Create New button, and the Upload Files window would come up. From there, all you need to do is go down to Select Files to Upload, and you'll see you'll have access to your hard drive where you can browse to find any of the pictures that you would want to upload. And you can grab any of those pictures. You can select multiples by holding down Shift or Control to add any combination of files and click Open. You see the list of files and their folder name or uh, f file names. There are image sizes there, and whether you want to remove them from the list if you accidentally added one that you didn't want to upload. You could also add more files from a different directory. Just go slide over to your pictures directory and pick something else uh, from a different folder, whatever you might need. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that because I think I have enough here. The next option here is pretty important, and that is to decide whether you want Google to convert any of your files to Google Docs or spreadsheets uh, or PDFs and in this case we don't we want to keep those files as their native format so we're going to uncheck convert documents presentations and spreadsheets and also make sure that we uncheck convert text from PDF or image files to Google documents so we definitely don't want Google to try to change any of our JPEGs or PNG files we just want to upload those so we'll uncheck both of those and then come down here and select our destination folder and you'll see here it's going to mirror our file structure that we just created so we can click the images folder click OK decide whether we want that private or shared and I'll leave it as private and then I'm going to click the up button and it'll take just a couple of seconds depending on the size of the files that you're uploading and you can see that these couple of files here that I'm uploading it's taking just a, a couple of seconds here but obviously the larger your files the, uh, the longer it's going to take now Google, as you'll notice, says you can upload files up to a gigabyte, which is pretty convenient. And currently using 0% of your 1 gigabyte of storage space, and you can always add storage for additional uh, funds or additional money as you see fit. But usually most people, if they're uploading documents, will have a hard time filling up 1 gig worth of, of information. So once your files are complete, you'll get a check mark down the left side next to each file name. You could click on any of these links to see that particular file if you needed to, or you can swing back to Google Docs and see those were now added to the images folder. If I needed to go ahead and order these a little bit more closely, I could add an additional folder, subfolder for images just by clicking on the top level folder, clicking create new and folder, and then maybe putting a date like 2010, and then clicking save. And that would then become a subsequent folder next to my images folder.